Hello, hello, this is Chuck, and we are checking in with another letter that we got. Thank you so much for saying us from Tennessee, Chattanooga. We got a letter here, pretty nicely decorated. Ooh, ah, uh, mm-hmm. But uh, we got another letter, and in case you're not familiar, uh, we had a teacher that reached out and told us that her students were going to be studying bugs. And so she wanted to know if we'd be open to receiving some letters and corresponding with them. And we said, heck yeah. And so one of the best ways is we thought we'd be able to uh, have a little video here, read out what uh, they thought, questions that they had, things they liked or didn't like, and then be able to respond to them, you know, in case they're at home or anything that way. We thought it'd be a lot of fun. And so for this one was a letter all the way from Tennessee. And this one, I believe, is from Isaac. So we'll start here and let's see what he has to say. All right. Hi, my name is Isaac and I'm in fifth grade and I go to a school called CSAS. And me and my friends were reading a book called Should You Be Eating Bugs? Yeah. All right. Now, yes, we ate bugs if you were wondering. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, I think my favorite flavor was the chocolate. I like the chocolate because it had chocolate on it. My least two flavors were the bacon and cheese flavor because it had no flavor. And so did the barbecue mealworms. Hmm. All right. Now, if you think you needed more flavor on them, they probably would. And then they would be my favorites. All right. Well, good suggestion. Uh, I know sometimes when you put too much flavor on it, sometimes it'll pile up at the bottom of the bags. And so we don't want people to think those are crushed bugs. So but that's definitely something we're always working on and tweaking. And so if you're looking for some different products, we have those. And they come with a few different flavors, in case you didn't know. And so obviously, I guess our bacon ones and our buffalo wing sauce need some more flavor on those. So we'll definitely try to do that as well. Um, and if you wanted to mix and match your own, you can definitely do that. We do sell our roasted original. And that one has no other salts or flavors added. And so that way... In case you either have an allergy or maybe are sensitive to certain ingredients, we created that one so no salts added, no flavoring, and that way you can either make your own recipes and use it in a baked good or something without anything added, or if you just want to mix up your own spice mix, you can do that too. So a few different things you can try. Um, but for this one, now, I wonder why you fried bugs and eat them. That's <laughs> nice and darkly lined. Now, uh, ours are actually roasted, but the reason why is that it uh, sort of extends the shelf life. So uh, I don't recommend eating them raw, but uh, we actually roast them because one, it gives it a little bit of a, a nutty flavor when they're toasted that way. And it just is a way to get a more sustainable protein. So you may be more the question is why are you eating bugs? And uh, usually people do it for a, full, a whole bunch of different reasons. Some of it could be they just like bugs or maybe they're living in an area that they are just wildly available so they can go out they can go forage for them they know they haven't been feeding on anything that they shouldn't be and it'd be an easy accessible source of protein and just a way to get a more sustainable source for them so something that you know has less processing it uses less land less water and it creates more protein in a natural way so if you're looking at from a sustainable standpoint it's a great option or just a novelty standpoint it's another great option but that's why i know we do it for the sustainable and the clean protein part of it and let's see, did you want to try eating something different or fried bugs? Also, were y'all the first company to fry bugs? <laughs> uh, well, we all were not, uh, but uh, there are some that uh, were the first ones. And I know definitely like over in, if you're over in Singapore, or if you're over in Thailand, or if you're over in anywhere in Asia, I mean, you can find these in street markets. And so there you can find them currently frying up bugs. I know we bake ours or roast them, but uh, there's also some Native Americans even here in the U.S. that used to use these uh, in the past as well. So they used to actually dry them out, mill them into a powder, or just eat them that way. And it's just because it was an available food resource. So we definitely weren't the first. Uh, we definitely won't be the last, but we hopefully will be your favorite. But uh, let's see, what else you got? Oh, and could you add more flavor? Sincerely, Isaac, <laughs> a.k.a. Cheese Boy. <laughs> so... Uh, I like the nickname. Uh, maybe that's why you want more flavor. If you're known as a cheese boy, I love it. But otherwise, I think those are great suggestions uh, for frying bugs. If you're baking them, if you're going to go out wild forage, just make sure you know where you're gaining them from. There's some different things for different parts of the year. There'll be a bunch of bugs all of a sudden. So I know in South Africa, they've had some out there. They've had some here in the Midwest, things that way. So there are a lot of uh, opportunities if you are going to look for them. But just like with anything that you find outside, you don't want to just pop it in your mouth. Make sure you actually know what you're doing. Make sure you have a parent or teacher there, and that way they can actually walk it, walk, walk you through what you should be looking for and how you should actually prepare it and process it. And if you don't want to go through that, no worries. We got you covered with our full product line. So we have things from our crickets 
uh, like Isaac was able to try. We also have mealworms. We have things like a black soldier fly larva. You can get scorpions. You can get a, a few different things if you want to try different types of bugs. And then maybe once you try them out, you either fry them, you bake them, you put chocolate on them, put more flavor or cheese. You can do that. Uh, that way you can actually try out what you actually like and how you like it. And maybe you can even try baking with it or things like that. Just because there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can do. And Isaac, thank you for writing to us, uh, to your teacher. Tell him thank you as well. And I hope you guys have a great day and we'll talk with you soon.